hello my youtube friends i want to welcome you to this lesson and in this lesson i just want to teach you on how you can create the best plate connection that you are seeing here i also teach you on how you can quickly add the reinforcement as can be seen from what is here now if you like what i'm doing on this channel please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like my videos and don't forget to check my website where i've done some nice courses for you so the link is in the description all right so i'll get started here and what i'm going to do i'll simply you know do exactly what what is here what you can see here on this one here all right so i'll just select on this one and orbit like that okay so i'll start with the actual base plate so to do that is very very simple you just need to select on the column the steel column there then go to steel tab there then first of all you need to go to the settings and load the connection so i'll just click that small arrow there to go to the connections right so now you see that i already added the base plate but if there are more connections that you want to add you can choose the type of connection and just click on add from there and click on ok and the connections now can be utilized here so i'll select on the connection uh on the steel column as a first step then go to steel and all you need to do is click on connection once you click on the connection you are going to see the generic connection in blue like that make sure that you are at fine level of detail right here right if you're at cost level of detail you may not see the column and don't you know panic just make sure that you at fine level of detail now pick on the you know generic connection and go to the properties there if you just click there you notice that you are going to see the default connection now just i'm just going to pick the default connection base plate there and click outside and you're going to have the default connection all you need to do is to just now play with the settings now i'll select on the connection click on edit from there then i'll duplicate and give it any name that i want and click on ok then you notice here that you have the preview of the connection i'm just using the wheel on my mouse and hold shift and the wheel on your mouse you are able to orbit let me click there and simply center it right there then close it so that if i hold the shift and wheel on my mouse i'm able to orbit like that then click on modify parameters click on edit right now here we are these are the settings that you just need to play with according to your design of course so the base plate layout plate thickness you can change it from here i'll maintain the 25 the layout you can choose from a number of options here i like using projections column shortening i want to shorten it by the plate thickness because i don't want the column to intersect with the you know the base plate so i'll use plate thickness you can use the value if you want or none if you want it to intersect it's up to you All right direction it's column that is fine then go to the next one base plate dimensions so now you can see that from projection one up to four this is the base plate that you are playing with if you want you can change if you want 80 you notice what is going to happen let me click somewhere else you see that it expands like that maybe let me let me use 100 okay so from the faces of this column going outward there i want to use 100 okay then go to the next one plate corners do you want to add the plate corners here maybe the caves me i don't want if you want you can activate it from there it's not necessary for me go to anchors and holes now the first thing that i need to do is go to anchor type start with this one and you can choose from your standards here for me i'm going to use the the holding down board okay so i can just scroll down there until i find the holding down boards all right so right here select on it now once you do that you can now go above anchor diameter now you see the metric i'll choose you know this one here then the anchor grade 8.8 .8. anchor assembly not with washer that's what i want and what will appear here will be dependent on the anchor type that you be sele that you've selected anchor length you can't enter your own length but you can just need to pick from the standards here i'll pick 300 invert 
invert anchor if you want if you want to create the holes only you can just click there and see that only the holes will be created so i'll leave it like that i'm happy here washer plate do you want to add the washer plate here you can do that if you want of those washer plates i don't want this anchors parallel to the web so now you see that we have two the number is two intermediate distance you see that if i change to 200 click somewhere else you see that it reduces so i'll just maintain the 254 okay you can see that this is how i want my anchors to be okay offset from sender is zero all right if you want to add maybe to this side to on the other side you can add a group there maybe both sides and add one just click outside there you see that you have those but i don't want any groups i'll just put none okay so i'll click on the next one parallel so i'll maintain this one if i say 200 once again click somewhere else you see that it reduce i'll maintain the 254 just like that okay the group is the same thing as what i just did on the other one so i'll go to worlds i think thickness is six world type fillet world i think it's fine for me then stiffeners all right when you click on the stiffeners you see it expands leveling plate if you want to add the leveling plate you can do that as you can see from here i don't need that in my case so i'll skip this one shim plates i'm not going to add it shear anchor you can see from here i don't need it shear dimensions you can see I'll, I'll i'll skip it if you want to add that you see this will be activated depending on what you have activated above there web stiffener i want to add some stiffeners here if i just say both sides but this is not the stiffener that i want to add if you want to add this one you can i'll show the ones that i want to add go to flange stiffener okay i'll say both sides okay i want this this stiffener but before i start adjusting here i'll also activate the outside stiffener as you can see from here activate so we have it now i'll start with this one you can even start with this one if you want so we have layout settings from base plate because i want the stiffener this to end all the way up to the base plate we have these other options okay you can say from column you see it changes like that but i want to use from base plate okay projections okay now start playing the thickness you can play with the thickness just type in the thickness that you want i'm not going to you know to add any projections if you want to to play with it for example reduce it a bit you can do that but i think i want it to touch the edge of the base plate the height i want maybe 75 do it according to your design see that it you know adjust like that outside chamfer height and outside chamfer width if you have the height and the width as you can see from here this one here number seven and this one here number six so maybe 25 and 25 here so that i can have that chamfer and see that we have it right there so i'm done with the outside stiffener i can do the same on this one i could have started with this one if i wanted now i'll go stiffener height i think let me reduce it to 75 so that is the same as this one okay all right then i'll go to stiffener with this okay which is this one here let me say 80 so that i want it to touch almost the edge of this one the base plate so it's 80 maybe let me say 85 okay i think i'll leave it there okay so now we also have outside chamfer height outside a chamfer width so i can still use the same 25 so that i can have some uniform chamfers okay perfect and as you can see we have it like that all right so there are these other options if you want mid stiffener you can see from here you can add it if you want for example both sides you can see we have the stiffener there but i think for me i don't need it you can see all these are the stiffeners that you can add you could have added this one and this one but for me 
I don't want to add this Tiffena. I'm done with my connection. Click on apply and click on OK. As you can see, we have our connection there. All right, now you can see that I added some colors on this one. Unfortunately, you can't add different colors to a connection. So what I do, I just, you know, break it. Okay, so if I select on it, this is a connection from here. But if I want to add the colors, I can simply click on it and and break it. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you where those colors are coming from. If I just type VG on my keyboard, then go to or oh, I'll go to structural structural connections right here structural connection expand it you see that i have put the the anchors the color here for the anchors green and this other one the color is there i can add for the profiles for the share studs i just added these colors just need to click there and make sure that you pick solid view then click on the color and you can pick the color that you want. Let me pick a different color so that you see how it's going to change. Then now, if I, before expanding, we can also add a color for the actual connections. If I just come here, we have under projections, we have the patterns, All right? So if I just expand there and add the color from there, it will add one color for the entire connection. Let me pick maybe yellow just click ok ok apply ok so you see that it's going to add the color one color to the entire connection but once you explode it you to pick those individual colors you see we have the plates you know we have the, the anchors so this is what i want to do so i'll select on it and simply break it and it's going to pick the other colors as specified here you can see that we have the anchors and all these are plates okay all right, now we have the riba here. Now I'll just propagate the riba. There are so many lessons on my channel on how to add the riba to our bases. So you can check out all those lessons. But for now, I'll simply select this one and click on propagate. And I'll simply click on propagate right there. We have those. Click on finish. You can see that we have the exact riba as on this one. Then I also pick the stub column. Then click on propagate and rev it. You can be very, very fast if you have, you know, created the riba and click on finish. And as you can see, we have the riba there with the base plate connection. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel.